Okay, so this is an example of a quadratic quadratic system where the equations aren't written nicely in the sense that uh, it's not like y equals something explicitly in terms of x. So in order to solve this system algebraically, um, there's a number of techniques that are out there, but I find that the best way to do it is to just actually solve both equations in terms of y and uh, then you could put it in your calculator and then uh, check your uh, algebra after that. So I have to isolate uh, the y variables and uh, I've done that here just by moving the terms to the other side and switching their signs and now I'll divide through by these constants uh, divide by 2 and divide by 3 on both sides uh, so that uh, it's all in terms of just y okay so this is the result after dividing through and uh, these equations are now um, available to put onto your graphic technology so I go ahead and I enter these equations in my, into my calculator I find the intersection points here at uh, negative 2 10 and 2 comma negative 2 so these are my solutions now I just want to uh, prove it algebraically so since both equations are now equal to y, I can make them equal to each other. And then I put everything on one side of the equal sign, and I'll be able to solve uh, for, for x. Okay, so moving 2x across, I have a 5x squared. Um, the x is actually cancel, so that's nice. So I'm actually going to leave a number... Um, on the right there. So add 8, I got 5x squared equals 20. x squared equals, uh, after I divide by 5, x squared equals 4. So I take the square root of both sides and uh, I can see here that x is plus or minus uh, 2, just as my uh, diagram suggests. And then uh, at this point you uh, could sub your x values back into these equations above to solve for y. Um, but at that point, I think it's okay. You can just use your uh, use your graph. Thank you.